What's up, everybody? It's Dr. L here with Spartan Mind, your chief mind doc at Spartan. So today's episode is primarily geared towards parents, but hey, listen, if you wanna stop right now, please don't. I promise this could help you too, because you can apply it to relationships, to colleagues, to family members, so keep listening. All right, parents, we've all been there, right? Our kiddo is having a difficult time, they're struggling with something, they want something at the toy store, we leave without it. They want something at the grocery store, we leave without it. They wanna be in a particular activity, we don't let them, whatever it is. When you say no and they bump up against that and they move themselves into a tantrum position, ugh, that is where your boundaries are key. Now, I know you're seeing them cry, you're seeing them upset, you're seeing them stressed, you're seeing them maybe even afraid. And what you wanna do is you wanna dive right into it and rescue it. You wanna give them that toy just so they'll be quiet. You wanna grab that cookie at the grocery store just so that you're not seen as the one who can't control their children, right? Or you wanna put them in that activity even though you enrolled them in another activity just to make them happy. Don't. Let them experience that pain, that frustration, that distress. You know what it builds? Distress tolerance. And that is essential for grit, resiliency, persistence, commitment, dedication, loyalty, honor, integrity. I could go on and on. I've been there, I'm a parent, I have two young kiddos. And yes, it's hard when they want something or they wanna do something for me to say no sometimes, but When I do, I promise myself that I'm making the right choice because they're gonna gain skills from that no. And that's what I want you to think about too, is that every no that you give them, every time you set that boundary and they have to tolerate distress because of it, you are actually building character in that individual, in that little person who's gonna grow up into a much bigger person. And guess what? Learn to tolerate the same distress. Because as adults, we experience distress. It doesn't go away, but the more skills we have to tolerate it, the better. Now, if you're still hanging in and you don't have kiddos, great, thanks for hanging in. Imagine how this could apply to other people, right? To your friends, colleagues, family members. Something goes on, they have a difficult time with it, and you wanna swoop right in, right? Let's say you have a colleague who you know is really struggling in her relationship with alcohol, but she's asking you to go to the liquor store. Yes, say no. Tolerate the pain that she might be experiencing from that, right? Or let's say you have a family member and that family member is struggling with money issues and all you wanna do is keep throwing your money at them. Say no, let them learn how to tolerate that distress, okay? And then you tolerate it too. Now that's the key important part of this episode is that you have to learn how to tolerate your own distress that is activated and triggered by theirs. And when you're a parent, that's really hard because like I said before, you wanna swoop right in and rescue them. Try to tolerate your distress, breathe through it, and promise yourself and trust that in the end, wisdom, knowledge, and most importantly, skills will be gained. I'll see you next time.